Uh, hello and welcome to the part three of this tutorials. Uh, in this part I will explain to you how to recreate a chicken from the game called Crossy Road. In the original game the art asset is actually produced in a software called Cubicle. However, I will show you how to recreate it in SketchUp. Uh, this art style uh, can be referred to as voxel art. Uh, voxels are basically three-dimensional pixels. Okay. Uh, so first things first, let's jump into SketchUp. So here's my new project and uh, I want to create a cube. To do that I will select the plane tool and I will draw out, I will try to draw out the cube, see? So if I try to draw out the cube right now, uh, it is a bit difficult to land it exactly on one by one meter because uh, I don't have any uh, snapping added to my uh, scene. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to go to uh, Window, Model Info, and uh, change Lens uh, Display Precision to uh, two meters, basically. And now, if I were to draw something, it will automatically cap it to one meter, one meter, two meter. You can see, yeah. So if I were to make that, and then extrude it upwards, this will be a perfect one uh, meter cube. Okay, um, I think in this particular project we don't really need Laura, we're gonna let her go. Uh, and now I will show you a few things that we can do with cubes. So in SketchUp, like when you start working with it, you will find something maybe slightly different if you work with other 3D software already, is that um, models are kind of sticky. So what I mean by that is if I were to copy this, so I'll hold the control and copy it. Uh, if I were to do that, then, uh, so for example, like this, I'll make two cubes here. And if I were to move this particular area, see, uh, even though they were two separate cubes, their geometry got meshed together, so they became one. And this can be quite annoying if we're working, trying to um, create voxel graphics, because, you know, you want to shift cube here and there, and you want... Uh, each individual cube act like a unique entity without sticking to the rest of the model. Okay, so uh, to do that, you can simply uh, select on your cube, right click, and uh, uh, make it into a group. Okay, uh, and here in the uh, entity info, I can call it a cube. Okay, and now if I were to copy this like this, it will not stick because now it's a group, so I can move it around freely. Uh, another thing that uh, is helping me to snap to the object, the fact that we changed model info to one meter, so this will allow me to snap all my objects using one meter threshold. So that's great, so now I can start building my chicken. So let's just delete this part, and uh, I will uh, begin building my chicken by uh, using a reference which I have created earlier. So I know exact um, dimensions of the chicken. So we'll start by um, well building its head or building its body. Uh, so I can select multiple objects and I can, if I press control, I can move it around like this. So we've got three, six, so I need to do one more. And uh, I might fast forward this part because it's quite repetitive, but this is all I'm doing. I'm just copy and pasting it a few times. We've got 16. So the chicken itself is, I think, uh, 13 units tall. Let me just double check that. Yes, the chicken is 13 units tall. So if this is 16, then I will need to delete this part. Okay. So I will do that by selecting this. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's our chicken body basically ready. So now I'm going to expand it, um, uh, its back a little bit. So its back is three blocks. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I select that, yeah, then I'll select all of them and I can just 
move it uh, three times. So I move it along one, two, three, just like that. Okay, and now I will need to do it one more time for the tail, except I will need to delete some geometry afterwards. So like this, and I will need to remove all of these parts. So see I'm aligning it like that, selecting just these cubes, removing them, and removing this, and uh, also removing all of that. Okay, so that's our chicken tail done. So now I will go ahead and make wings. So wings are positioned here. One, two, three, four, five, six, three down, and all of these cubes will be used. So again, click on move tool, press control, and move it out once, press control, and move it out twice. Okay, so what I can do now, uh, instead of selecting them again, I can just select this uh, wing right here and just uh, move it across here, so duplicate it across there. So I'll press move tool, I press control, and I just move it along. Again, if it's not moving on axis correctly, I can press up, down, left, or right, so it's locked to a particular axis. So I pressed right. Here we go. Uh, so right now we have our chicken with chicken wings. Okay, now that our chicken wings look ready, I will go ahead and add uh, the beak of the chicken. So same thing here, I will select all of these parts and I will press control and move it outwards once, twice, well I can even do it three times and then remove this part like that uh, now I need to do the top part so the hair of the chicken so one two three four five six seven eight just like that move tool shift up once uh, up twice here we go so that's the body of the chicken is ready so now I will need to do its legs and then its feet okay so its legs are positioned around here uh, so I will need to select these two cubes okay and uh, I will move them down so copy move down once twice three times so that's the leg done however I'm going to add it one more time to start building my feet just like that uh, now for the feet I'm going to use the same two cubes I'm going to move them sideways then the other side like that then I will select all of them and I will duplicate them like this one two three one more time here we go, so now I just need to remove these parts one, two, one, two and that's uh, Crossy Road Chicken com is complete in all its glory so uh, all we need to do now is uh, add a little bit of uh, materials so I'll show you how to do that so you can either uh, select a color so just like that so if you can't see colors so just click on uh, materials and select colors so I'm going to select this and you can either uh, go ahead and click on each individual uh, cube like this or you can do the same thing as before you can select multiple objects like that and just color them in all at once 
like this. So I'm going to color in this part, then I'm going to color in that part, just like this, looking good. Uh, and then the beak, uh, let's use this orange maybe. Yep, that looks good. And now legs and feet, you can select it like that color it in, that looks good, so now all I need to do is add eyes, gonna go all the way down, and add eyes like this, and like that, so here we go, our chicken is pretty much ready, uh, all you can do right now is uh, match the perspective, so right now we are looking at our model in a um, perspective view, if I were to go to camera and go from perspective to parallel projection, which is equivalent to orthographic view, it will look like this, which is exactly how it is shown in the video game. For the final part, we need to do a little bit of cleanup. So right now our object is uh, pretty heavy. It's made out of a lot of individual cubes. So we can even take a look at that. So if I go to view, uh, face style, wireframe, I can see it's an awful amount of cubes. So in a perfect world I would need to reduce that. Normally in your games you want to have the least amount of mesh possible. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do for that is uh, first of all switch back to regular shading. Then I will select uh, all of my chicken. Uh, I will go to entity info. I'm going to first uh, make it invisible. All right, so you can't see it and then I'm going to lock it so what that does it makes it so that I cannot move it if I select it okay so it just it does not have any so it cannot be changed in any way the object should not be visible uh, to make it visible again go to uh, view show hidden objects so if you follow my instructions you should see something like this however if you will press view show hidden objects you should be able to see you should be able to see chicken but you cannot do anything with the chicken other than select it so what we're going to do now is a little bit of cleanup so I'll just take plane tool and just uh, outline the chicken just like that okay so what I'm doing I'm just simplifying the mesh so it doesn't need to be that heavy. So the way it normally works, if you can't see it, it doesn't need to be there. So right now there's all of that internal mesh inside, which doesn't need to be here. Uh, so this can be done like that. Then we can do this, a bit of that, like this, that. So I might, fast forward this part Okay, so the next thing you can see, uh, some of the parts are kind of bluish and other parts are white. So what we want to do is to have all of the parts white. Uh, the blue parts is just um, so what. So if you can see the blue shading, that just means that uh, the normals of the uh, face are inverted, so they're actually facing inwards. So what we're going to do is just select all of the white, uh, all of the. Uh, blue parts, so I'm just going to do it like like that, for example, and I'm going to say uh, select da, 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 um, reverse faces. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of the blue parts, and I'm going to reverse the faces.
once that is done we can uh, take our model and uh, we can take a look at, uh, at the mesh of it so again if I go to view face tile and I'm going to go to wireframe you can see it's a much simpler model compared to the previous one so that is much better so all this needs now is uh, recoloring so I'm going to go ahead and retexture it so I might need to add some geometry here okay here yeah, we're good so now I'm going to add uh, so I'm just going to recolor it so select black click click and now I'm going to select these parts color them in uh, select the bottom part so again I can't select the bottom part so I need to add a little bit of extra geometry so like this like that now I can select it uh, color it in like this so select all of that ok now we can select this part and color it in just like that so here we go so we can remove all of that geometry right here we can remove all of this geometry here so just doing a little bit of extra cleanup now remove all of the geometry that doesn't contribute to the shape of your object okay and here we go our bird is complete we can now take a look how it looks in a wireframe mode so faces, wireframe so you can see the geometry is very minimal compared to how it used to be again view, faces, shaded ok thank you, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time